Hi, this is David Savile, and this is How to Unleash Your Greatness, Part 4. Forget confidence. So I used to think you needed confidence to do things. You know, you had to have that feeling of confidence to be, to be able to come across and do it well, and, you know, to be professional, to, to be good at something. You know, you had to have that bearing of confidence. And it kept me stuck for a very, very long time. I didn't realise, I mean, if you think about it, what is confidence anyway? Really, it's the absence of self-doubt. It's the absence of fear. And it's being really good at something. Now, how do you create that? How does that happen? Well, you create it by doing it. The thing, that by doing the thing enough times, that's how you get rid of the fear. That's how you get rid of the self-doubt. Because you've done it enough times, you've got enough evidence, you're like, yes, I can do this thing. And that's when you get the appearance of confidence. Confidence really is a mental construct. It's just a concept that's, you know, you see someone who's doing something and they're standing there bold and they're, they're doing something well and you look at them and then you go, here's confidence and I'm putting it onto what they're doing. And then you're like, right, well, if I want to do something like that, I need to have that confidence thing. But it's an, it's an imaginary thing. It does not exist. Those people who are doing their job, who are doing a damn good job and look confident, they're not thinking about confidence. It's not even in their radar. It's not something you need to even, it's not a concept you need to have in your life. So as soon as possible, if you want to unleash your greatness, throw out the concept of confidence altogether. Now, let me tell you how this worked in real terms for me. Last year, I had, I've never had any public speaking training. All I've ever done is record videos and learn as I go. And then last March, um, I, got, I had a talk to do at VegFest UK in Brighton. First talk I'd ever done. There was going to be 25 to 30 people there. I was terrified. I mean, I prepared as much as I could, but I mean, I, re I almost actually didn't. I almost didn't go for the opportunity. It was a last minute standing. And I almost said no, but thankfully I didn't do that. Um, and so I prepared as best I could in the two weeks I had. Um, but I'd never done one before. I was bricking it, you know. Before it, beforehand, I was. I couldn't eat. I couldn't. I couldn't think straight. I was so terrified of it. But I got up there, and it started off, you know, slow and wasn't that great. But I got into it, and it was. It was. It went well. It went better than I could have imagined, actually. And I got a great round of applause at the end. And it set up a chain of events, really, for a way of being of me just doing stuff that I'm terrified of, and knowing that. That's how I'll get good at it. That's how I will grow as an individual and be able to be better at what I do and be able to impact more people by doing. That's how it happens. Um, and then since then, I've done many more talks and now I'm getting great with it and it's, it's going to a whole new level. But it couldn't have happened if I'd have been waiting for confidence to do it. It just wouldn't have. There's no way around it. You have to do the thing. And that is what the greatest teacher of all. You know, it's a visceral experience and that teaches you the most because we, we are not brains separate to our bodies. Without our feelings, thoughts don't really matter because there's no, there's no response connected to it. If we, do, if we were just brains in jars, we wouldn't really care what we do, you know, because we'd have no physical, you know, emotional connection to it. So confidence, forget confidence to unleash your greatness. Just start doing the thing. That will create everything you want. And just throw out the concept completely. Forget about it. It's an illusion. Now, if you want to unleash your greatness, you could apply to be part of my project to unleash it in a thousand people. You can contact me directly at david at davidsavile.co.uk. And also comment below. What have you been waiting for the confidence to do? How has the concept of confidence got in your way. I'd love to know.